while others who are part of Total Archaeology at Tel Akko, a joint project of Penn State and the University of Haifa, are digging, sorting pottery, or cataloging bones, some of the other participants from Penn State, Trinity College, University of Massachusetts Amherst, and the Claremont Colleges are busy looking at sediment samples and hunting for the remains of plants. Melissa Rosenzweig, Assistant Professor of Anthropology and Classics at Miami University of Ohio, explains. Um, archaeobotany is the study of how humans use plants in the past. Uh, the way that we get to that uh, understanding uh, in excavation is by taking soil samples during excavation and then putting them through a water flotation machine in order to extract uh, plant remains that float to the top. So plants will preserve in the archaeological record when they've been charred, uh, and these carbonized remains can preserve for millennia, uh, several millennia. So uh, we have those plant remains float to the top of the water system, we collect them, we dry them, and then I analyze them under a microscope to identify the species. From this information, we're able to get a sense for what kinds of plants people were using over time and space at the site. Here at Akko, we're seeing a pretty typical uh, Eastern Mediterranean or Near Eastern crop package. Uh, that includes barley, uh, different kinds of wheat, including emmer and einkorn, and some um, forms of durum wheat um, or free fresh wheat. Also legumes like lentils and uh, grass pea and bitter vetch. Uh, we also get fruits like uh, fig, olive, and grape, and olive and grape actually are the predominant crops that we're finding on site uh, in all periods. Examples for us in the field. Uh, back at the uh, campus off site, uh, students are participating in the flotation process, which again is the way in which we extract plant remains from the soil samples. And then we have one student who's in the archaeological sciences track uh, who specializes in, ar who's uh, interested in archaeobotany. And she's helping me with the next uh, steps, which is um, sorting and identifying those plant remains. <laughs>